take out my headphones bolt them back there it's got 310 bars but for some reason you can only take it to 300 digital the fans automatic and it has automatic stop and stuff like that we'll see what happens uh, it only goes in increments of 10, which may be good for some people, but if you have something like this Bulldog that goes to like 207 bars or whatever it is, it might, you know, I guess you have to pick 200 bars or 210 living dangerous. So we'll just go with 200 and let's see how she works. I think it did a pretty good job. We couldn't find nothing of it on YouTube, so we figured we'd put this up there so other people can see before, you know, kind of worry about taking an $800, $700, was it $700 plunge? So, there it is. Seems to do pretty good. All right. See you guys later. We'll drop some videos tomorrow at the range. This is the new tack there. Volt from the Hats Online. Hats and Hats on, however you say it. 310 bar they say it's 10 percent faster than any other compressor it's same size or roundabout size uh maintenance free no oil uh no water needed so it air cooled with fans obviously auto fans auto on and off and uh it's got the converter or inverter i should say built right inside of it and it comes with the plug and the cables for to hook up to your battery or your car. It's only 15 pounds, so it's nothing to take with you with the handle on top. And uh, let me see here. It's comes with the micro bore fill whip with the inline moisture filter. And uh, temperature gauge reads in uh, Fahrenheit, which is nice because a lot of them read in Celsius. I don't have to use my phone reverting back and forth to Google. And it says it could refill any air gun or small tank up to a liter. And it came with the test plug, the fill probe adapter, and some replacement filters and, you know, whatnot. It was uh, $6.99, but I just seen it because I was looking for specs and stuff on it. I just seen it on MidwayUSA.com for on sale for $5.29, but I've never bought anything from there, so I can't vouch for them. But uh, if anybody knows, oh, the, that was the second gun we filled up was the Benjamin. The first gun we filled up when we got home was the Hats on Piledriver, the 3000 PSI. And 
We didn't time that because I messed up and thought I was recording it, but took a picture. And uh, Benjamin was the second gun we filled up at with about five minute break in between, I would say. And that was already at a thousand PSI. So it took around about, I don't know, seven minutes or so to get to 3000 PSI. So I don't know if anybody knows any f other fill times, you know, let me know. Tomorrow we're going to take them to the range and we'll actually really record them and really time it out. But yeah, if anybody knows any other fill times, we can see if that 10% faster is true or not. But uh, let me know what you guys want to see more of. We're new to this, but uh, it sounds like seems like it'll be fun. If you want to come with us on our little journey, subscribe. Like if you want, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, guys.